Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Let's talk about Will and Jada's marriage, the ups and downs plus dedication. Now, if you're new to this channel and you're seeing me for the very first time, I talk about people in the news, parenting skills, current events, and educational topics. Now, if these topics interest you, be sure to hit the notification button, like, and subscribe to my channel to view relevant content. And to all my current subscribers, welcome back. Today's topic is Will Smith, When a Man Loves a Woman. Will and Jada demonstrate unconditional love, in my opinion. Their open marriage of over 24 years has been through high and low tides. It's an unconventional marriage that most people do not practice or believe in. The difference is they share their struggles with the public which most people won't have the interest or even the courage to do. They have shared intimate details as the public judges and critiques their intimacy. On Good Morning America in 2021, Will Smith revealed painful memories of his childhood. His first talk about the domestic violence abuse with his mom recently and the reconditioning of his mindset because of those traumas. Will Smith stated his marriage to Jada is, the road don't look like how everybody says it's supposed to look. Don't try this at home. His quotes, I'm not saying that this would be my ideal relationship. However, every relationship is unique has flaws, requires hard work and meaningful effort on a daily basis. YouTube family, how many times have you dated someone who you thought would be monogamous, especially after conversations, clearly stating your expectations of them? Or how many times have you, did you know you dated or married someone who clearly did not have the same relationship mindset or intentions? One individual was seeking monogamy while the other person was open to meeting new prospects during the relationship. If only people would be honest in the very beginning, there would be more amicable results. The main point, Will stated they will be together no matter what. It may not be the marriage union for me, but I love when Will makes it clear that divorce is not an option. When life or conflict rears its head, both parties know they will not give up. Now, after the famous Red Table talk regarding the entanglement, Will and Jada stated they were separated at the time. Of course, a majority of viewers were stunned, including myself, and could not imagine a woman having an affair with her child's friend who had mental issues at the time, especially. I assume most women would not have that type of affair, nor will most women tell their current partner about the tryst and leave themselves open to ridicule from others. For those of you who are wondering what a tryst is, it's a private romantic rendezvous bet between lovers. I assume most men would never accept a woman, especially a wife, who they knew had other intimate relationships even if they had one or multiple affairs themselves. Also, I assume most people would feel humi humili humiliated, excuse me, if their partner told the world that they were not satisfied with them and needed to look elsewhere. Truly, I believe in monogamy and firm boundaries in a relationship, especially in a marriage. Like I mentioned earlier, Will and Jada have an open union and rare bond that is incomprehensible by most people. Will and Jada seem to have the strength and insight to know they must have open and fluid communication. In contrast, tragically, every single week there are individuals who physically, mentally, and emotionally harm one another while in a relationship. Others discard one another after a situationship dating exclusively or marriage because they can't bear to know that a person will move on without them. 
numerous men and women who stalk their so-called love or lust interests, not because they are looking out or protecting them. They are sick and mentally ill individuals who need help to make rationale everyday ex decisions. Clearly, these people can't understand it's not healthy behavior. So, many people, especially women, are not alive because of a twisted individual whose ego or emotions cannot handle rejection or common disagreements. It's heart-wrenching to know the statistics. That's why people with problems need intense therapy and or treatment. Does anyone know the R&B ballad sung by Percy Sledge? When a Man Loves a Woman. It was written in 1966 and later sung by Michael Bolton. Due to copyright laws, I cannot play the song, but here are a few of the lyrics which have always been sentimental to me. When a man loves a woman, he changed the world for the good thing he's found. If she treats him bad, he can't see it. She can do no wrong. He turned his back on his best friend if he put her down. I gave you everything I had, trying to hold on to your high class love. Baby, ooh, please don't treat me bad. When a man loves a woman, deep down in his soul, she can bring him such misery if she is playing him for a fool. He's the last one to know. Loving eyes can never see. When a man loves a woman, he can do her no wrong. He can never want some other girl. Pertaining to Will Smith, when a man loves a woman, he will go through hurdles and beyond. He intently makes her priority in his life. Her well-being is first and foremost. It's his actions that show how deep his emotions are for his queen. If she is hurt, distraught, and or humiliated, you can rely, rely on your partner or husband to defend you. I don't condone violence, so I believe Will Smith could have firmly said his intolerance to Chris Rock's joke directly while giving his speech that night. I'm pleased that Will Smith apologized for his actions toward Chris Rock and members of the Oscar Award community back then. He learned to reflect on his actions and humbled himself. Although Will Smith and his family has been in the limelight for decades, we really don't know the pressures they face or how they will react to being triggered. As you may know, Will Smith was raised in a violent household. And as a boy, he witnessed his father beating and causing extreme physical harm to his helpless mother. While viewing Oprah interviewing Will Smith about two years ago, Will touched my spirit when he said one sentence between him and Jada becomes a four hour or longer discussion all the time. If they exchange a sentence to, to this day. So in all of his years, Will said he has never met a person who connects, he connects with more blissfully and productively than Jada. Will said they love in freedom. He said every person we know, we interact with them in fluidity. At the end of the round table, the red table talk entanglement episode, Will and Jada bumped fists and said bad marriage for life jokingly. Couples create the love formula or potion that works for them. They are accepting of one another for who they are and love always isn't rational. That's all the information I have for you today. Please remember to hit the notification button, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million and stay safe.